yeah, go, let's go for it. Have you lost your mother? Have uh, been beat it. That depends who is my you know, mother. She's really tall, and she has red hair. We live on a big farm hold, all of us. Okay, that helps a lot. The main men with swords came, and mother told me to run to the village as fast as I could, so I did. Well. She said she'd be right behind me, but I've been waiting and waiting, and I can't see well. her. <laughs> well, yes, well, good luck with that. Do you know where your father is? Come with me, I'll help you look for your mother. Probably won't come. Come. I don't think she's coming, so break it down to him. He went with William to the neighbors yesterday, but he didn't come back. Well, I don't think she's coming. Why not? Why would she leave me here? I think I'm playing blunt character. But no, what do you she think? Can't be Did you dead. play play I'll blunt find character? Her. Yeah. So let's talk about your mother for a moment. I'd rather talk about your mother. Uh -huh. Well, there's nothing to talk about. And besides, isn't your mother a scary witch who lives in the middle of a forest? Much more interesting. To you, perhaps, you would find the moss growing upon a stone interesting. You know what's more interesting than that? Apostates, mages outside of the tower. That's illegal, you know. You did not read that in a book somewhere, did you? <laughs> I hope the small letters did not strain you over much. Oh, we could not talk about your mother. That works for me. So, why are, are you, you want one of my captors? I have nothing to say that would amuse you, Elf. Leave me in peace. I'm in a cage, am I not? I've been placed here by the Chantry. I am Sten of the Beresad, the vanguard of the Kunari peoples. You mock me, or you show manners I have not come to expect in your lands. Though it matters little now, I will die soon enough. This is a proud and powerful creature, trapped as prey for the Darkspawn. If you cannot see a use for him, I suggest releasing him for mercy's sake alone. Mercy? I wouldn't have expected that from you. I would also suggest that Alistair take his place in the cage. <laughs> yes, that's what I would have expected. Uh, I suggest you leave me to my fate. I find myself in need of skilled help. I could give you some food and water. Good end tip. What did you do to end up in... I have been convicted of murder. Have the villagers not spoken of this? Are you asking if I feel guilt or if I am responsible for the deed? However I feel, whatever I've done, my life is forfeit now. What did you Either do? you have an enviable memory or a pitiable life to know nothing of regret. The people of a farm hold. Eight humans, in addition to the children. Okay. Death will be my atonement. To redeem yourself. Perhaps. What does your wisdom say is equal to my crime? Suicide mission <laughs> or something. Yeah. I'm on the quest of great importance. Importance is a matter of perspective. From here, very little seems meaningful. Uh, I guess the blight. The blight. Are you a Grey Warden, then? Yes, I am. Surprising. My people have heard legends of the Grey Warden's strength and skill. Though I suppose not every legend is true. It's not really Shanshai. Perhaps if you told her the Grey Wardens need my assistance, it seems as likely to bring my death as waiting here. Farewell, then. A penitent man left to be torn to pieces by Darkspawn. Tis a fine example of the Chantry's mercy, is it not? Some drinks and see what happens. 
Have some well, drinks. look some what we have time. here, then. I think we've just been blessed. Uh-oh. Low gains, men. Ah, uh, this can't be good. Didn't we spend all morning asking about an elf by this very description? And everyone said they hadn't seen one. It seems we were lied to. Gentlemen, surely there's no need for trouble. These are no doubt simply more poor souls seeking refuge. They're more than that. Now stay out of our way, sister. You protect these traitors, you'll get the same as them. Okay. Right, let's pass. make this quick. Okay. So, below the belt. One, we surrender. Okay. Good. That works. They've learned their lesson and we can all stop fighting now. The grave owners didn't betray King Kalyan. No gain did. I was there! The turn pulled us out of a trap. The wardens led the king to his death. The turn could do nothing! So they believe that. Well, you did betray the king, so die. Please wait! They have surrendered. They were no match for you. Let them be. Take the message to Logan. W what do you want to tell him? He I'll failed. tell him right away now. Thank you. <laughs> right, right away now. I apologize for interfering, but I couldn't just sit by and not help. Yeah, where does sister learn to fight like I that? I wasn't born in the Chantry, you know. Many of us had more colorful lives before we joined. Let me introduce myself. I am Liliana, 
one of the lay sisters of the Chantry here in Lothring. Oh, I was. What does that I joined mean? the Chantry to live a life of religious contemplation. But I am no priest, not even an initiate. They said you were a Grey Warden. I'm surprised you're an elf. <laughs> but elves must want the blight no, defeated as that. much as humans, no? I know after what happened, you will need all the help you can get. That's why I'm coming along. I will need help, that's true. That, and the Maker wants me to go with you. <laughs> maker is in my side. In my side. He's on my side. Welcome aboard, then. Can you elaborate? I... I know that sounds absolutely insane. But it's true. I had a dream. A vision. More crazy? I thought we were all full <laughs> up. Look at the people here. They are lost in their despair. And this darkness, this chaos, will spread. The Maker doesn't want this. What you do, what you are meant to do, is the Maker's work. Let me help. Very well. Perhaps your skull was cracked worse than Mother thought. Thank you. I appreciate being given this chance. I will not let you down. All right. So let's. Blast it. Blood and damnation. Blast and damnation. Blast it. Yes. Indeed. Indeed. Good day, Sister Leliana. I'm surprised to see you're still in Lothering. It is good to see you as well, Your Reverence. Is there something I can do for you then? I want to talk about Stan. It might have been kinder to execute him, but I leave his fate to the Maker. Why does he interest you? Stan, what did he do? He butchered an entire farmhold. Only one of the youngest hid long enough to survive. The child said his father had found the canary gravely wounded and took him in. That kindness was repaid with murder. Okay. The bandsman found the canary just standing amidst the carnage. He did not resist them. He would not say, though he acknowledged his guilt. Even the seasoned knights who apprehended him were disturbed by the carnage. However docile he appears, do not be fooled. That canary is a danger. Then his next victims might count you and me as their murderers. I was thinking you might release him to my custody. And what do you say on this, Leliana? You know your friend better than I. These are unusual times, Your Reverence. With us, the canary might do some good. I am sure of it, in fact. Were things not so desperate? Very well, I trust you. Take these keys to his cage and make her watch over you. Thank you, Your Reverence. Your trust is not misplaced. Be friendly with him. Next, next step away from here. They say your mother is Flemeth, a witch of the Kokari Wilds. They also say that washing your feet in winter makes you catch cold in the head, but we all know that is not true. But sometimes they are right, and they are right in this. You know the stories about... Of course. You think my mother would let me go without telling me all the stories of her youth? My mother told me stories too. She was the one who kindled my love of the old tales and legends. Hmm. My mother's stories curdled my blood and haunted my dreams. Fun. No little girl wants to hear about the wilder men her mother took to her bed, using them till they were spent, then killing them. No little girl wants to be told that this is also expected of her once she comes of age. I... um... I see. No, you don't. You really don't. And so it is done. I will follow you into battle. In doing so, I shall find my atonement. Thank you, Stan. May we proceed? 
I am eager to be elsewhere. We done heard what was said. You're a warden. I don't know if you killed King Kalen, and make her forgive me, I don't care. But that bounty on your head could feed a lot of hungry bellies. Ah, uh, he did. Attack! What? Okay, ready, ready. Idiots. Should we leave now? Someone help us! Someone help us. Oh, my God. 
Mighty timely arrival there, my friend. I'm much obliged. Yeah, it's meant. The name's Bodon Fedek, merchant and entrepreneur. This here is my son, Sandal. Say hello, my boy. Hello. Road's been mighty dangerous these days. Mind if I ask what brings you out here? Perhaps we're going the same way. Grey wolves. Hmm. My, that does rather explain a lot. No offense, but I suspect there's more excitement on your path than my boy and I can handle. Allow me to bid you farewell and good fortune, pal. Goodbye. Now then, let's get this mess cleaned up, shall we? Takes away uh, ages to get away from the police. <laughs> Bad dreams, huh? Uh, must have been something I ate. Drank more like, as in the tainted blood, remember? Yeah. You see, part of being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the Darkspawn. That's what your dream was, hearing them. The Archdemon, it talks to the Horde, and we feel it just as they do. That's why we know this is really a blight. I don't know if it's really a dragon, but it sure looks like one. But yes, that's the Archdemon. It takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow, when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me, too. Other, Other than dying young and the whole defeat the blight alone thing, no, I'm all tapped out for surprises. Anyhow, you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. Yes. yes. Well, here I am. I knew this would come up sooner or later. I don't know how to explain, but I had a dream. In it, there was an impenetrable darkness. It was so dense, so real. And there was a noise, a terrible, ungodly noise. I stood on a peak and watched as the darkness consumed everything. And when the storm swallowed the last of the sun's light, I... I fell. And the darkness drew me in. When I woke, I went to the Chantry's gardens, as I always do. But that day, the rosebush in the corner had flowered. Everyone knew that bush was dead. It was grey and twisted and gnarled, the ugliest thing you ever saw. But there it was, a single beautiful rose. It was as though the maker stretched out his hand to say, even in the midst of this darkness, there is hope and beauty. Have faith. <laughs> I don't see your maker interfering in my life. Uh... And this made you want to help me. In my dream, I fell. Or... Or maybe I jumped. I'd do anything to stop the blight. I know that we can do it. There are so many good things in the Maker's world. How can I sit by while the blight devours everything? Chancy says the Maker has left us. He's still here. I hear him in the wind and the waves. I feel him in the sunlight that warms my skin. I know what the Chantry says about the Maker, and what should I believe? What I feel in my heart, or what others tell me? Are you saying the Chantry is They wrong? said my ideas were blasphemy. But yeah. is it so bad if what I believe gives me comfort? That's all. If it could give someone else comfort? Yeah. I know what I know, and no one will ever make that untrue. So... Why are we stopping? There are dark spawn to be fought. Is this delay needful? I am Kunari. I have given my word to aid you. We are not people of idle promises. No. People are not simple. They cannot be summarized for easy reference in the manner of 
The elves are a lithe, pointy-eared people who excel at poverty. Well, <laughs> that's the common, common way to think about it. I am. I have always fought in war, elf. My people have been at war since the moment we set foot in the Northern Islands. We do now. The enemy is everywhere. The jungle itself. Vipers, hunting cats, even some of the flowers can kill the unwary. And always there is the Imperium and the Talvashoth. I do not see how this matters. Seheron and Parvolan are distant. Ferelden and the Darkspawn are immediate. As you wish. Ah, it's good to see you, my timely rescuer. Bodon Fenwick, at your service, once again. I saw your camp and thought to myself, what safer place to rest for the evening than in the camp of a Grey Warden? I'm perfectly willing to offer you a fine discount for the inconvenience of our presence. How does that sound? Good? Yes? I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected, and with your discount. Hello. The boy's a bit simple, but he's rather good with enchantments. One of those tranquil fellas actually called him a... What was it now? A savant. I had no idea such a thing existed. He can fold lyrium into almost any weapon or piece of armor. Though naturally some of the more extravagant materials will take more lyrium than others. It's a process that some of the master smiths back in Orzammar will perform. But my boy here is just as adept at it. Isn't that right, boy? Genius. Enchantment! <laughs> and there you have it. Okay. Enchantment! Okay, so I have a lightning rune. But I don't, I don't have any items I could actually... You're a hard woman to find. Where are my manners? The name is Levy. Levy Dryden. Did Duncan ever mention me? Levy of the coins? Levy the trader? Maybe. Levy. Really? He never told you of old Levy? We've known each other for years. But here I am carrying on while you have a blight to stop. Don't want to waste your time. But you see, Duncan promised that together we'd look into something important for the Wardens. And for me. But poor Duncan's. Well, no more. A tragedy it is, at that. What I know he would want his work carried on, his pledge fulfilled. My family, well, past a bit checkered to see. Nobles look at us with disdain. My great-great-grandmother, Sophia Dryden, was the last warden commander of Ferelden back when the wardens were known as freeloaders. So King Olin banished the wardens, and he took House Dryden's land and titles. Hard to say. After King Arlen died, there was a civil war, loads worse than this one. And our family was on the run, hunted by enemies, with nary a friend in the world. But Dryden's are tough. We rebuilt, became merchants, and we never lost our pride. Our family's only crime was guarding the kingdom against the blight. We're not ashamed of that. Ask for the truth. My family reveres Sophia Dryden. We know she died at the old Grey Warden base, Soldier's Peak. We want evidence to clear her name. It won't restore our land or our titles, but it'll restore our honor. Well, no one's been to Soldier's Peak since Ireland's days. At least none that's come back. I spent years mapping the maze of tunnels to the peak, and I found the way a few years back. So I went to Duncan, I did. And I said that he could reclaim the old base and my family could have its honor. I can pick my way through the tunnels at the base of Soldier's Peak, but the place, well, they say it's haunted and it'll be dangerous for certain. Will you think on it at least? A thousand blessings upon yeah, you, Warden. I'll mark down the location on your map. When you arrive, 
we'll pick our way through the tunnels together. This, this was smallish DLC, but it's like we get the base. What do you need? You don't have to do that. I know you didn't know him as long as I did. I... I should have handled it better. Duncan warned me right from the beginning that this could happen. Any of us could die in battle. I shouldn't have lost it, not when so much is riding on us, not with the blight and... and everything. I'm sorry. I... Like to have a proper funeral for him. Maybe once this is all done, if we're still alive. I don't think he had any family to speak of. I don't know. I have no idea what the Grey Wardens do for them when they fall in battle. Have you had someone close to you die? Not that I mean to pry, I'm just. <laughs> you little your furry friend here took offense at me getting near his food he snapped at me look <laughs> hardly any blood drawn sometimes I forget that he's a war dog that'll teach me I once heard a really old legend about how the hound warriors in the days of the old tribes would feed their Mabari the flesh of the vanquished. Well, that's what I heard anyway. It would sometimes be human flesh. Really in oh, in like you can tell the difference. Oh, okay. For you know, maybe you've already been fed something. Someone. Don't listen to Alistair, he's full hey. of rubbish. Okay. Indeed. So let's take the 18. Yes. Indeed. And we actually promised to go to the Soldier's Peak. There might be a like attacks on the way. And here we are, Soldier's Peak. Make us breath. Look at the size of her. What a fortress. I told you the map would get us through the tunnels. improved a bit. You wouldn't believe me if I told you. It came to me in my dreams. Uh... When I was a lad, I tried going through the tunnel by myself. Got horribly lost. But every now and again since, I've dreamt of it. I didn't want you to think I was some moon-addled simpleton. Uh... I've me wits about me. But enough of that. Something, I'll something follow more you sinister. from a distance. This place has the stench of death. I expect there's trouble up ahead. The men's morale is low. My spells are of no use in this matter, Commander. There is more to leading men than sorcery, Avernus. I will remind them that they're wardens. Men! I won't lie to you! The situation is grim. Our forces outnumbered, our bellies empty, and our hearts are sagging. But we are wardens! Darkspawn flee when they hear our horns. Archdemons die when they taste our blades. So are we to bend knee to a mere human despot? No! I, for one, will never give up. I, for one, will never surrender just to dance on Arlen's gallows. So I propose here and now, in these hallowed halls where generations of our brethren stood vigil against darkspawn and evil, that we send a message to that fat bastard. In this sacred place, proud men, strong men, stood defiant and would rather die than submit to tyranny. So brave, even when starving. And my great-great-grandmother stood with them. 
Oh, well, that's kind of you to say. Generations of Drydens have said that our stock were lions. Fierce, proud, and noble. But I've gabbed enough. Lead on, my friend. Alistar take point. Fighting. I think I'll do Nice. Great demon. Uh, you could be me. Could cool down a bit.
Summon demons. Yep. Can't believe it. And my grandma was part of it. She knew. Well, it's not forbidden blood magic. The ending it takes to be. I believed that my family was better than that. But answers may lay up ahead. Okay. Step no further, Warden. This one would speak with you. Uh huh. This one is the Dryden, Commander, Sophia, <laughs> all these things. Grandmother? You have slain many of the demon ilk to get here. This one would propose a deal. That or she's really let herself go. <laughs> My great-great-grandmother is dead. I don't know what that is. This one has tasted her memories, seen her thoughts and hidden places. But she is food for this one. No more, no less. You can't be serious. There's nothing left of Commander Dryden. She's possessed. Your fledgling should mind its place. Meek, subservient, quiet. This one will answer your question. The soldier's peak traps me. This one sees so many tantalizing places in the Dryden's memories. This one would see the world herself. For me to be free, into the old mage tower you go and destroy. In return, this one seals the veil. No more demons. Uh -huh. No more enemies. Your peak would be safe. Just let this one go into the world. This one will roam, this one will see, this one will feed. Uh. But without me, the veil will grow weaker. More demons, more misery. You choose just one of my kind, or many. You are a fool! Babe.
Like death much? As you say. Use your right. powers and be wary. <laughs> On it. Day 32. The subject is not responding okay. to the stimuli. <laughs> Testing the pain threshold has uncovered nothing. I did drink it only before. three subjects are left. Three. Day 82. If only I could reproduce last night's extraordinary success. Electricity is only a catalyst. The blood is the key. Day 97. Energy and blood. Repeated applications have duplicated the results. I conjecture that success can be induced alchemically. But there are no more subjects left. If only I had one more, or a dozen, the things I could do. Huh. I hear you. Don't disrupt my concentration. Even now, the demons seek to replenish their numbers. Are you to thank for this welcomed but temporary imbalance? Only just. I have only a short time left. Careful. This man has dabbled in matters forbidden by the Maker. He may look frail, but don't trust him. So the Maker told you that, did he? Short-sighted men have forbidden my research, not any god. <laughs> Enough. Why are you here? What is your intent? Okay, so he has been <laughs> torturing people and dabbling with them blood magic and causing this place to be haunted.
Agreed. This must be the first priority. The only priority. They were necessary. Any tool, any iota of information that could defeat the fell the demons ears. was justified. Uh, As a warden, you should know that. Necessary. Having to relieve yourself after an eight-hour ride is necessary. But there's no excuse for summoning demons. <sighs> Charming. An admirable goal. But in order to achieve this, the demons must be cut off forever. Yes. To what questions, I wonder? Ask. The Chantry foolishly forbids blood magic. But there are so many secrets to uncover. As my body decayed, I found ways to extend it. But that can only go so far. Master Mage, uh, sir, my family name has been worth less than dirt for over a century. Do you have any proof that Sophia was a hero? The boy who braved the mists. So you heeded my call. Ah. <laughs> and you are a Dryden. The cosmos has a sense of humor. Your great-great-grandmother was the best of us. Brave, charismatic, fiery, utterly devoted to the fight. But still we lost. We fought against a tyrant, you know, so full of vigor then, so blind to consequence. But proof? There's none to be had. Right. I... Uh, I had hoped. But thank you, Warden. What use would storytelling serve? The tyrant Arland is long dead, as is all our noble co-conspirators and the Grand Rebellion. Sophia's corpse may walk and talk, but she too is no more. Perhaps, but it was survival. For months, I prepared the summoning circles, researched the darkest depths of the Fade. That moment was a triumph of demonic law. Dozens of demons called by my hand. And but you fucked it up. With so many variables, I suppose, calculation errors were inevitable. Ugh. I was so close. And who draws this line of what is safe, proper, or moral? The Chantry? Corrupt, mundane, pathetic little men? You embrace the core tenet of the Wardens, any means necessary to win. Well, well, but you didn't win. She gave the order. I would have summoned the demons anyway. Oh, no. Only under Wardens can true magical research continue. A chance to rediscover the secrets of ancient Tavinta. Okay, that's dangerous. Chantry lies told to subjugate the mages to keep them docile. And how do you know they are right? Their faith would have you swallow a great deal for small comfort. My only regret is that it failed, and that I never had a chance to make Arland pay. Yes. To stop the demonic tide, to correct the miscalculations of the past. Blood magic comes from demons. They could counter every bit of law I knew. But the dark spawn taint, that is alien to them. And it has power. The wardens use it merely to sense dark spawn, a triviality. My research has discovered so much more, hinted at even greater heights. This knowledge could not only save Soldier's Peak, with it the Wardens could grow even more powerful. I have done what I must. Better sweat, but better sweat, better sweat. Let me undo my greatest of mistakes. Let me cleanse this place. Then, then I will accept whatever justice you feel I merit.
You've already read my research. But in time, with the proper materials, I could learn so much more. So be it. My only request, if justice or vengeance drive you, stay your hand until the demons are dealt with. Until the demons are dead, we are alive. That will do for now. All right. We must go to the Great Hall. There, I will repair the damage I caused so long ago. There will be peril. The demons will fight us every step of the way. Come. We must act quickly. The demons are clawing on the gates. The veil must be closed. Okay, big ears. I will unravel the summoning circles I drew so long ago. Waves of spirits and demons may come through. Dispatch them. I will begin. Okay, kill everything. First, I must summon the magical energies. I feel them. They're coming. 